From a rampaging killer bear to a pack of coyotes hungry for human blood, here are 10 of the scariest recent animal encounters that will make you want to stay inside and lock your doors. 10. Bear Break-Ins There's nothing quite scarier than having a bear break into your house. Bears are massive, powerful, territorial creatures. The last thing anyone needs is one of these beasts in their very own territory, yet that's exactly what happened in the Canadian province of British Columbia in 2021. During the brutal heat wave that cooked much of Western North America, bears were busy robbing people's homes. On June 26 alone, the BC Conservation Officer Service responded to at least three different reports of bears simply walking into people's houses like they owned them. That was in a span of only 24 hours. People all throughout the Vancouver region were being burgled by bears. One of the biggest issues was that people were leaving their doors open to try and cool down their houses. This resulted in bears strolling right in through the open thresholds to try and get some snacks. Imagine a bear on your front porch peeking through your screen door. Hello? Anyone home? Nobody was injured, but several people had to cower, hide and phone the police because a huge black bear was rummaging through their kitchen. I mean, forget being cooked alive by the sun, people were nearly mauled to death in their own homes by bears! 9. Mountain Lion Attack Travis Kaufman was going for a run one day like he normally did in Colorado when he heard something strange on the trail behind him. He turned to see what was making the noise and felt a wave of fear wash over him because three meters away from him was his worst nightmare. It was a mountain lion and it had its hungry eyes set on Travis. At 31 years old, Travis may have been in peak physical condition, but he still wasn't that eager to do hand-to-hand -hand combat with a giant cat. Unfortunately, the cat didn't give him much of a choice. Travis did what he was supposed to. He threw his hands over his head and screamed, but the mountain lion wasn't scared. It instead ran right for him and tried to bite his head off. Luckily, Travis threw his hands in front of his face to block the animal's attack. It turned into an all-out brawl, with Travis and the cat rolling across the trail, each trying to kill the other. According to what Travis told local news afterward, his fear immediately turned into survival, rage, and he was caught up in the heat of the moment. As horrible as it is, Travis had no choice but to kill the attacking animal. He managed to mount the mountain lion, grab a rock off the ground, and pummel it in the skull like some sort of crazy WWE move. But it still wouldn't let up. Travis ended up strangling the cat until it finally let go of him, at which point he ran away down the trail. He ran into some hikers, who helped get him to the hospital where he needed 17 stitches on his cheek and 6 on his nose. When wildlife authorities went to investigate the scene of the attack, they found the wild cat dead. Travis had defeated the beast. Do you think you would have been able to? 8. Roaming Street Dogs In West Indianapolis, a pack of violent dogs was recently caught after attacking local pets and residents and in some cases killing neighborhood animals. Even after multiple complaints filed with the Animal Control Department, the dogs have still yet to be captured and are continuing to terrorize the neighborhood. One of the residents who experienced the brutality of these roaming street dogs firsthand was Felicia Sosa, who was minding her own business in her front yard when two pit bulls came out of nowhere and tried to eat her chihuahuas. The tiny dogs managed to get away, though one of them needed stitches for wounds inflicted on his throat and neck, and Sosa herself just about got torn apart too. Just a few months later, the same dogs showed back up at Sosa's house and killed her cat, which was hanging out on a back deck. Was this revenge? But the attacks didn't even end there. Several other neighborhood pets were ravaged by these angry pit bulls too. The worst part is that the neighbors eventually figured out who the dogs belonged to. Somebody in the neighborhood wasn't able to keep his dogs inside and they were repeatedly breaking out of the backyard and terrorizing the neighborhood. But because they didn't attack any humans, there was nothing animal control could do about it. What would you do if one of your neighbor's dogs kept getting out and attacking everyone's pets? Let us know in the comments section down below and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 7. Rampaging Coyotes A woman from Woodland Hills recently survived being attacked by a pack of 12 coyotes. According to the report from CBS Los Angeles, the curious coyotes had been coming down from the hills and roaming the local neighborhoods like animal ninjas at night under the cover of darkness. In the last couple of years, the pack has nearly doubled in size and become a real nuisance. The attack happened when two coyotes managed to break through the front gate of Michael Seabolt's property. 
It was a trick. The coyotes broke the gate, Michael's family dog ran after them, and his wife wasn't far behind. But by the time she reached the end of the road, she realized her mistake. There were 12 coyotes waiting for her and her dog, and they attacked without mercy. Luckily, a neighbor heard the commotion and came to help, and just in time too, because Seabolt's dog was in the middle of being torn apart. The dog suffered a series of deep cuts, and the woman was nearly mauled by the ferocious canids, but the neighbor's intervention sent them scurrying away. It's believed the coyotes have a den in the area, though wildlife officials haven't been able to find it. So, as of right now, no one in Woodland Hills is safe from the rampaging coyotes. 6. Attack of the Sharks During the filming of Blue Planet 2, the epic wildlife show narrated by David Attenborough, the film crew was attacked by sharks in horrifying unaired footage that was recently uploaded online. A group of six skill sharks attacked the film crew while they were trying to get footage in their underwater submarine. The team was at a depth of around 2,100 feet, filming what happens to a whale carcass when it floats to the bottom of the sea. What they didn't expect was for the hungry sharks to forget about the whale corpse and go after them. The six skill sharks were at least 18 feet long each, with huge teeth and powerful bodies. One of the crew members can be heard in the footage saying, they're huge, I've never seen anything like this. But unfortunately, the sharks became insanely aggressive, especially since there was food around. They must have thought the submarine was competition and was there to steal their easy meal. So the sharks attacked the sub, smashing their huge bodies against the glass and snapping at each other. It became a serious problem, as even though the submarine was tough and made of metal, the sharks appeared to be tougher. The crew had to abandon the project and quickly move the submarine away from the situation. And in the nick of time too, just before the sharks shattered the glass and ate them alive. 5. Snakes in the Attic A woman in Australia got the fright of a lifetime when she discovered a pair of snakes battling it out in her attic. She heard weird noises and went upstairs to investigate and was horrified to see two giant male pythons locked in an epic battle to the death. It was mating season, and the two snakes were probably battling for a nearby female. Well, this woman was not super interested in giant snakes brawling in her attic, so she called in a professional to remove the serpents. She was actually very lucky that their fighting didn't break through a ceiling and come crashing down in her living room. She was also lucky to get the snakes out of her house when she did, as having a bunch of giant pythons slithering through your walls sounds like a sure way to get eaten while you're asleep. 4. Attack of the Grizzly in Montana, a cyclist was camping when she got brutally mauled to death by a grizzly bear. The last thing any cyclist wants is to be ripped apart by a huge set of bear paws, and yet that's exactly what happened. Near the small town of Ovando, when the victim was pulled out of her tent by the hungry grizzly. Two days after the terrifying attack, wildlife agents, with the help of local law enforcement, were still searching for the wild animal, desperate to put it down before it killed again. The victim was Leah Loken, a 65-year-old woman from California who was camping overnight while on a long-haul bicycling trip. According to what Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks said, Logan was in her tent with two other people when they were woken up by the bear. This happened at about 3 o'clock in the morning. They managed to scare the bear away and fell back asleep. However, the bear apparently wasn't done and came back for round two. It ripped the tent open, dragged Logan out of it, and by the time the other campers managed to bust out their bear spray and scare the monster off, she was dead, ripped to shreds like a wolverine in wet paper bag. This might be one of those situations where a gun might come in handy, especially in bear country. 3. Human Hippo Conflict One of the weirder side effects of the COVID-19 pandemic has been an increase in the amount of people getting killed by hippopotamuses. As outrageous as that sounds, National Geographic says it is a thousand percent true. According to them, because of the economic fallout from the pandemic, more people in Kenya have turned to fishing. More fishermen means more people at the water, which means more opportunity for hippos to attack. Hippos actually kill more people in Africa than any other animal, including lions and crocodiles. The story George Mora told National Geographic is one of the most recent tragedies. He went fishing with his close friend Babu on the shores of Lake Naivasha. They couldn't afford a boat, so they simply waded into the water to reel in their fishing traps. Sounds like a dangerous idea with hippos around. And that was when the hippo attacked. It first launched at Muora, but he was able to dodge the huge beast. So the hippo went for his friend Babu, 
Babu was not able to swim. When the hippo clamped down on his little body with its huge teeth, the young fisherman was sadly done for. There was nothing anyone could do, even with dozens of locals running to the edge of the water, desperate to help. By the time the hippo stopped thrashing in the water and let go of Babu, it was as if he'd been bludgeoned by a dozen men with sledgehammers. The poor guy was barely recognizable. 2. Siberian Tiger Runs Over Farmer A Siberian tiger recently performed a hit and run that terrified local villagers to their core. It happened in Russia, where the tiger allegedly crossed the border from China and then attacked a car full of people before running over a female farmer in its fury. This bizarre incident happened in the village of Tari Raj, with the huge 200-pound big cat charging the vehicle. It hit the car so hard that it left a dent, before turning to run away and accidentally ramming into the lady farmer who had, for some insane reason, gotten out of the car in her panic. Please, never ever do this! She was very lucky the tiger kept on running and didn't want to eat her. She suffered a bit of trauma but was otherwise uninjured. The tiger, who was also by definition an illegal immigrant, was then captured by wildlife specialists, given a medical checkup, and was due to be released back into the wild. Hopefully, it's learned to stay away from the highway. Number 1. Angry Bobcat Speaking of angry cats, a bobcat recently attacked someone in North Carolina. According to the victim, Scott Jackson, the growl of the terrifying feline was still ringing in his head three weeks after the attack that almost turned deadly. This happened in June, when Scott pulled up to his house with groceries. He noticed his chickens were acting weird, running in circles and freaking out. He also heard a low growl, but had never anticipated there was a dangerous cat trying to eat his chickens. And now that it had turned its attention on him, the bobcat had somehow gotten underneath the back of his car while he was grabbing groceries. Scott noticed the animal, but it was too late. The cat pounced on him, trying to scratch his face off. The attack only lasted about five seconds, but Scott was left injured and needed to go immediately to the nearest hospital. The cat had ripped apart his left soldier and left him covered in savage bite marks. The ER doctor told Scott he was lucky to be alive. He was also lucky that he went to the hospital right away, as it turned out the bobcat was rabid. And rabies is scary! Scott had to get a few rounds of rabies vaccinations to stop him from turning rabid himself. Hey, thanks for watching! What's your scariest animal encounter? Let me know about it in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe for more awesome stuff from the channel. See you next time. Bye!